your brain has what's called a negative bias. And that means by default, it will focus on the problems and the bad things that are going on around you. And that was actually super helpful in days gone by when we needed to focus on uh, the tiger that was about to kill us rather than the beautiful flowers that are sitting over here. But in the world that we live in today, that negative bias, that default mode is really, really unhelpful in certain circumstances because we are absolutely surrounded and bombarded with negative news all the time. It absolutely feels like at the moment the world is falling apart. And you know what? It kind of is. But continually having that in our brains and being thrown in our um, consciousness all the time is actually not helping us, nor is it helping the people around us, nor is it helping those people on the other side of the world or all around those different places where they are struggling. All it's doing is actually creating more mental health problems for us because we feel like we are so hopeless and we can't escape. So what we actually need to do is train our brains to focus on what is working, to focus on the good. Now that doesn't mean ignoring the news and ignoring the stuff that's going on around you. It just means not being consumed by it and choosing to also focus on the things that are working. So I want you to do a couple of things. One, number one, manage your access to all that negative news. Find out what you need to know, watch the news every couple of days, but don't continually get it in your life or have it on the radio all the time. It's not helping anybody by doing that. It just completely can take over your head and every aspect of your life. The second thing is to train your brain to focus on the good. And this is actually a habit. Okay, so what you need to do, I suggest at the end of every day, is write down at least three things that are good in your life or that you are grateful for. And I know it'll feel like, oh, there's not much, but you know, you've probably got a bed to sleep on and you've probably got a pillow. Like that's actually two good things. Someone may have um, said you, you know, they love the way your hair looked today, or you could have got a jumper that arrived online in the mail on time, or um, maybe you spoke to someone overseas. Maybe you've got one good friend in your life um, that you're hoping to catch up with at the weekend. There will be something, even the smaller things that are actually really good in your life. It's just that when you go to bed at night, that's not what your brain is trying to pick up. It's trying to replay how the day went and all the things that went wrong. And you should have done that better and you could have done this differently. That's not helping anybody and it's just making you feel bad about yourself and exacerbating all the problems that are going on in the world. It makes you feel powerless, right? The other thing is if you are feeling completely hopeless and consumed by everything, try and do something that actually makes you feel like you matter, makes you feel like you are making a difference. And that could be helping another person, volunteering, donating some money to charity, um, calling somebody that you know is struggling, if you're in that position to offer kind of energy in that way. It's really important as human beings, we need to know that we matter. We need to feel like we um, have a sense of, of meaning and purpose in our lives. I was so completely consumed and overwhelmed by the news in Ukraine and talking to my mum and dad about it who live obviously on that side of the world. Um, I was just struck and I didn't know what to do. And I actually turned that into something positive by saying, do you know what I can do? I can do fundraising and I can um, sell the planners and raise some money for Ukraine. You know, it's not gonna change everything over there, but it's better than sitting here with my negative thoughts and just my sadness and doing nothing. And we've raised, you know, nearly seven and a half thousand dollars so far and hopefully 10 grand by the end of March, okay? So um, if you're feeling lost, if there's any way you can do something that makes you feel like you matter, then that will definitely, definitely help you. So don't let that negativity take over, focus on the good, focus on what is working um, and train your brain to uh, change its perspective because that negativity is not worth taking over everything in your life and over you. So hopefully that nugget of inspiration is helpful. I look forward to seeing you again for another video soon.